Michael Cohen is back on the stand today in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. He's expected to face a hostile cross-examination from Trump's defense team. Yesterday, Cohen told the jury how he says he silenced women who claim to have stories of having affairs with Trump. Trump denies all wrongdoing. President Biden announcing new tariffs on Chinese goods today, including a quadrupling of tariffs on electric vehicles made in China from 25 to 100 percent. The administration argues these taxes will level the playing field and protect American businesses, specifically car makers. This comes as a new poll shows President Biden trailing Trump among registered voters in Michigan, home to the big three automakers. Experts are watching a new COVID-19 variant that could threaten to drive a summer surge. KP.2 is now the leading variant in the U.S. In mid-March, it made up just 1% of cases, but now it makes up over a quarter of them. Early lab tests suggest the variant might be better at evading our immune defenses and could be slightly more infectious than previous variants. Storms may be out of our area for now, but the southeast Gulf Coast is facing flood hazards today. And it also looks like this year's spring showers are so intense, they could affect the nation's food supply. Some farmers say their crops are suffering. One issue is fruit with flood damage. Another is wheat that strong winds have flattened. Some of the country's biggest airlines are now suing the Biden administration over rules around fees. The new rules say airlines have to disclose up front fees for things like bags or changing a flight. The airlines, including American, United and Delta, say all the disclosures will only confuse customers. Red Lobster is abruptly closing at least 48 of its restaurants around the country. The leading restaurant liquidator company is holding an online auction of Red Lobster kitchen equipment, furniture and other contents at restaurants that are closing. The chain is also reportedly considering filing for bankruptcy protection. It does not appear any San Antonio locations are part of the restaurants closing down at this time. Google and Apple are teaming up to fight location tracker stalking. The companies have developed an industry standard that detects unwanted trackers for iPhone and Android users. Phones will alert users if they're being tracked by an unknown Bluetooth device. It's an attempt to crack down on stalkers who use devices like AirTags to track others. OpenAI has released GPT-40, a new faster model of its chat GPT. Its designers say it can generate content or understand commands in voice, text, or image. The tool now supports more than 50 languages, and it's free for all users. A home run for Major League Baseball fans. Next weekend, Roku will start streaming Sunday games for free. Leading off are the Cardinals and Red Sox. To watch, you have to download the Roku channel to your device or TV. No subscription or sign-up is required. And that's today's 9 at 9.